Okay, we're going to take a quick look at the uh, 220 megahertz uh, kilowatt linear amplifier uh, built by W6PQL, GEM out in California. You've got an AC main switch here which it can actually be wired with a uh, 48 volt relay switch to turn on your blade power supply. And I'll show you what a blade power supply is in a minute, but it's uh, a 50 volt power supply as this uh, amp uses uh, 50 volt. Uh, you got your main power indication, transmit, load fail, high temp. So he's got several protection circuits uh, built into the unit. Uh, you've got uh, dual meters here. You've got both reflected and forward power. And these are the LEDs. And then, of course, you've got your PA current. And I've just got to setting it up, setting the ALC up for the drive. Anyway, our test radio is the uh, ICOM 375A, a 25 watt model. And we've got it turned up to full 25 watts at the moment. And we're using a, a coaxial dynamics uh, watt meter peak reading with a, a 2500 watt slug. So we'll be reading the top line. I notice I got quite a bit of reflection from the uh, overhead light. We'll go ahead and put this in amplified mode. And we'll go ahead and key the uh, transmitter. right at uh, 1100 watts on the meter and we're drawing right at the recommended 27 amps that Jim uh, recommends setting ALC to transmit mode right at 1100 watts my array solutions meter is uh, not a peak reading meter but it will show you put down right about 735 watts on it so we've got uh, got a kilowatt out now on 222 for 2012 okay we've got it in uh, sideband mode now hello test hello test hello testing one two one two one two one two, one two, one two, one two. Norway zero, India, Romeo Sierra. So it's about a kilowatt out on sideband as well on peaks. So overall, I'm real pleased uh, with this amplifier, and I'll give you a closer up look at the back. But uh, it's got the vents in the back and the fans. Okay, this is the uh, the back of the amp. Got your antenna port. This is your uh, 50 volt DC input uh, Jones plug. You got a 12 volt a BNC connection for uh, your LNA if you want to power it from there. And this is the attenuator, which can be bypassed by switching out of the cables. You've got your PTT, got your ALC adjustment or ALC connection, and then you've got your ALC set adjustment screw. And then, of course, you've got your input or your driver's side. And then you can see the uh, uh, four fans back here that would uh, kick kick in based on uh, temperature thermostat built into the unit. So that's the back of the unit. Okay, uh, size-wise, the unit measures about uh, about 12 inches wide, and then of course it's uh, 12 inches deep, and then the height of the unit overall is uh, right at six inches. So it's a fairly a compact uh, compact uh, kilowatt. Uh, for 222. Okay, this is the uh, a blade. They're called blade power supplies. These are actually HP units. They're for uh, a large uh, computer servers. They're a plug and play or hot swap. You can slide them in and out on the server. And Jim found this uh, article on proper wiring of the unit. You've got your uh, 51 volts DC out. Uh, right there and then you've got your uh, 220 volts in and basically you just uh, use uh, spade lugs and wire it up and they have you solder a bridge across the center pins uh, to allow the uh, unit to operate and come on these are available for about 37 to 45 dollars on eBay 
and uh, I bought two of them just to have a spare one. I'll show you the back here. Now here's the back of the unit. And I don't have any lugs on it yet, but I have went ahead and soldered uh, the pins. I learned to spread the pins apart on the outside uh, to allow a little bit more room to get in the solder. But basically that's the back of the unit. And uh, mine is currently in position, so I'm not going to pull it out and show you the wiring, but it looks exactly like this. So this is what gives you uh, the 50 uh, 50 volts uh, to run that uh, 222 uh, kilowatt amplifier. Uh, these are the instructions that uh, Jim ships with the amplifier. See it's N0 Iris customized. Gives you a list of all the features. Um, the fact that he did the initial setup. Uh, 1 kW out draws about 27 amps at 50 volts. And he said he was able to get about 1100 watt at higher current and drive level. And it'll probably do a little bit more, but he said it's only linear to about 1 kW. And as we know, there's little to be gained by running any amp much above the recommended output. And then, of course, he recommends setting ALC for 27 amps in either CW or FM mode. Uh, and then, of course, he goes through the initial setup procedures, adjusting the ALC. And, of course, he goes into the uh, uh, driver hold, ALC blocking, and of course he gives you harmonic content graphs under test, low pass filter, return loss, low pass filter, attenuated response, and various charts, and of course in schematics, which are very well done. Anybody that knows Jim written a number of articles and built a lot of amplifiers back in the 80s when he was doing it for a living I guess and uh, first-rate stuff here and here's your power connector your mains and then uh, control board schematics and then here's the uh, power connection cautions and then he gives you a diagram uh, you can set the uh, you can use the panels front switch It's only rated at 15 amps so you can um, use a 10 ohm uh, 50 watt resistor and a, a relay uh, circuit which causes the power supply uh, to rise and operate and bypass the relay and then it closes the bypass limiting resistors so it all happens in about a second so you can turn your power supply on from the front of the amplifier with that additional uh, feature and of course he has a, a connection on the back of the amplifier for a uh, uh, power LNA. And that's the uh, 222 megahertz kilowatt linear amplifier by Jim W6PQL. If you have any questions, just Google for his call sign and he'll take you to the website. Thanks for watching, guys.